It's been two weeks since I decided to upgrade my Fluval Chi Aquarium. I made some modifications that turned my old aquarium into a nice and clean piece of art. If you haven't watched that video, I left you the link in the description. I haven't done any maintenance or water changes since then. The only thing that I have been doing is feeding my fish once a day. It does not look bad, water is still clear, the glass does not look dirty and in general it looks ok. However, if we take a closer look, we can see algae growing on the glass. The water level has gone down about an inch and it looks flat. So it is time for some cleaning and a water change. A lot of people tell me that they don't like aquariums because the maintenance is a time consuming activity and it takes a lot of work. The truth is that most of them think that the maintenance consists in taking everything out, then clean everything with water and soap, including the equipment and the gravel, and then put everything back. If you are doing those things, I'm pretty sure your fishes and plants are dying, and you are not enjoying the hobby. The maintenance is as simple as cleaning the glass, take some water out, and clean the filter and sponges. I perform this maintenance every two weeks and it takes me about 20 minutes. Here are the things and equipment I use. First I use this hose which is called a siphon, also they call it aquarium vacuum. Then a glass scraper, a simple bucket, some polyfilm, water dechlorinator, beneficial bacteria and finally some paper towels. I start by turning off the electrical equipment. Then I put those aside. I keep the filter on the bucket. After that, I clean the tatter that is on the top of the glass. Then I use the glass scraper. I use it gentle to avoid scratching the glass. Then I put the bucket below the aquarium in order to use the siphon. Put the siphon inside using the suction cup. Once the siphon is in place, put the other end of the siphon into the bucket. Press the pump a couple of times to make the water flow. I take about 30% of the water. Using the waterfront bucket, I clean the sponge filters We don't need this polyfill anymore. I wanted to move the aquarium to another location, so I did it at this point. Once in the new location, I add water. I use spring water from the store because it's clean, does not contain chlorine, and is not that expensive. Then I put all the equipment back. I place the new polyfill on the filter. Then I clean the exterior glass with a wet paper towel. And then with a glass cleaner. Finally, I just add the two products that I mentioned before, the Sikkim Prime and the beneficial bacteria. To help the aquarium to look good between maintenance, I try to refill the water that evaporates. Also, replacing the polyfilm constantly helps the water clarity. After I complete the maintenance, it takes about two hours to show the final result.
now you know that if you don't have an aquarium, it's not because it takes a lot of time and effort to clean it. Thanks for watching this video.